I had a request to do number 30 from section 3.2. It's one that's done um, in the notes itself, so if you followed that, you'd be able to follow do it, but I can do it again. So in number 30, we have two wheels, one smaller than the other. They're like gears. One's driving the other, um, just like in the notes one. And... Um, one of the the smaller wheel in number 30 is 6.84 inches in diameter and the bigger one is 12.46 and so we know that the smaller one rotates at an angle of 150 so the first step is to find out how far that small wheel moved well it's moving in a circular pattern so it's going to be um let me get the pen here it's going to be s is equal to r theta S is equal to 6.84 because that's the small wheel. It's rotated 150 degrees, but if you multiply by 150, you're going to be way off because you need to have radians in here. So make sure you convert. And so I would just take on my calculator 6.84, multiply by 150, multiply by pi, and divide by 180. And we get the number 17.9070, and it just keeps going. So I'm going to leave that number in my calculator. Second step, then, is to know what just happened. If the small wheel just moved 17.9 inches, then so did the large one. So the large wheel also moves 17.9070 inches. They can't move different right in that and so we're going to use that to find the angle okay so these are great problems to have down there so let's find the angle um let me erase some stuff that's down here i didn't realize we had some stuff that was not erased so find the angle well how do we do that same equation s is equal to r theta what do we know s 17.9070 number r totally given to us let's go look at it in case you forgot it 12.46 given in the problem theta is what we want to find so now we just take that number that i left in my calculator 17.90 number we're going to divide it by 12.46 and we're going to have theta is equal to 1.4371651 one seven nine is what's displayed exactly on my calculator well that's not a degree that's a radian we need our answers in degrees and so the last step is to take this 1.43 number and change it to be a, a degree and that's why we did all that work with converting before so we're going to multiply by 180 divide by pi and we're going to get theta is equal to 82.34 degrees. I believe they put it out to the tenths. That's how they did it, exactly like what was in the notes. And so you want to make sure that you're able to recreate something like this. You can make up your own numbers. The, the pattern's exactly the same. And so it's awesome like that. So we'll get this posted for you.